So welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday. And today I'm going to talk about the Dissolve node inside of the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. So the Dissolve node is a great node to create transitions from one clip to the other. So let's jump in the computer and let me show how easy it is to work with the Dissolve node and how amazing the results are. So let's go. So here we are inside of the edit page and I already have here two clips, one for this Mustang and here of the driver of the Mustang. And I want to create a transition from this clip to this one. So I'm going to delete this one. I want to move this one over here and I want to create a transition about uh, three seconds into the clip and I'm going to cut the clip over here with this clip selected the first three seconds go to the fusion page and immediately you see here the media in of the clip that you're going to use and the media out now let's add the dissolve node you can press shift space and type dissolve and it will appear the x and add it and i'm going to add the other clip so this one this and i'm going to connect it to over here. So we have multiple inputs over here and one output in the dissolve node. So we have the, here the um, yellow one is the background and the green one is the foreground. The blue one is the mask and this pink one is the dissolve map. So you can use it with the multiple functions as you're going to see. And if you go to the dissolve in here in the inspector, we have here the slider from foreground to background or background to foreground and now it's uh, coming from the driver and if we move it here to the car and I want it in the opposite way so we, we're going to select the dissolve node and press control or command T and it will change the input so now it's from the car to the driver. Now let's animate here the transition so right click and modify with anim curves and it immediately it create this transition with the dissolve selected let's see the the operations that we have available for our dissolve node so as you can see if you go come here to the dissolve we have eight different operations here so do we have the dissolve the additive dissolve the hero the random dissolve the random noise dissolve the alpha merge, the gradient wipe, and the SEMPTE wipe. So let's see the difference between all of this. So let's see the dissolve. It's very simple. It will do this transition from here, from the car to the driver. If you select the additive dissolve, it's more or less the same, but it, it has a little bit uh, of difference, as you can see, if I put it here in the middle of the transition and I go to the dissolve, you see that it has a little bit, a subtle difference. The erode, it's a, another one, so as you can see, of course, these squares you don't see if you go to the edit page, look, you have here, so it will uh, do this transition from here to here. And let's go to the fusion page again. And we have here the random dissolve. So it will do this kind of noise pixelized image here. And the random noise dissolve. As you can see, it's the same, but it's not because here you will see that this noise is moving. So if I play it, you see that the, we have uh, some movement in the noise. Then if we go to the alpha merge, this one has more options in here in the inspector. So this will be the normal. In the apply mode, we have the apply mode available for the transition. It will add the alpha modes that you have available inside of DaVinci Resolve. So we have the normal, the screen, all of this, but some of them work perfectly. If we come here, for example, let me see lighting, it will work. But if we go to, for example, the darken it doesn't work because it will start to darken the image and the image will be black and then it will jump back so you have to see what uh, does work and what what doesn't work even if you change here the gain it won't work but there are a lot of them that uh, for example the color dodge doesn't work 
and the linear dodge works so it will allow you to mess with all of this uh, apply modes and then we go to the grid and wipe and if i play it you don't see any difference it will only jump from one to the other you don't see the difference because this one needs to have the map the dissolve map so i'm gonna use here a fast noise and i'm gonna connect it over here let's go to the fast noise that we put it in the viewer one and i want to add it some details some contrast and i'm going to increase and of course you can add some seed rate some seed and look if it will do this type of transition so with this you can come here to the dissolve and you can add here some some softness to the transition let's go Somewhere around here, you can add here some softness. Well, it will be softened or less soft. And we can add border and it will add this border. And as you can see, it will add that border and you can change the color of the border, for example, for a red one, like, and it will add this effect to the transition. And of course, you can come always to the fast noise and change the scale and the details, everything. So you can add more or less effect. And then we have also the SMPTE wipe that will create a wipe between one image to the other. And that, that wipe can, can be horizontal or vertical. If we, you can change it from horizontal to vertical you can invert the wipe so the position see it. and you can add also a border and in, with the border select we have the border width we can put it thin and you can add softness and also you can change the the color of the the wipe it will do something like this so as you can see, you have multiple options and we can also add a mask. Of course, we can mask this to only work in one area of the image. For example, let's do it. Let's come here to the and horizontal and let's come here to the rectangle and let me add some height like this and let me move this to over here. And if I come here, look, it will do the transition and it will appear over here. And if we add over here a transform node and add it to move our center, not, not here, but here, sorry. And in here, move the center to over here. So, and let me come to the dissolve and take out the border and if we play it now it will do this and it will appear here you have the car and you, you have you still have the, the driver over here so you have multiple options you have you can do a lot of things with just one note and you can create your own transitions if you want to learn how to create your own transitions you can check the card above to see uh, I already made a video explaining how to create your own video transitions. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until there, bye.